One, two, three. Yay. Let's dig. <laughs> <laughs> and Intel is going to build a workforce of the future right here in Ohio. As you already heard, Intel committed $50 million to partner with community colleges and universities like Ohio State University, including Central State University, the only historically black university in Ohio, to build a pipeline for students in the semiconductor industry. I have the privilege today of representing the region's higher education sector, which stands ready to educate the workforce that Intel and its suppliers and customers will need. At the same time, we support new advances in semiconductor technology through our research. Providing intellectual capital and groundbreaking research for this effort is bigger than any one university alone. Ohioans are the heart of the new Silicon heartland. Just, just think about it. Today at this moment in Ohio, today right now in Ohio, there are young men, young women, attending our 14 public universities and others in our 74 private liberal arts colleges and universities studying mechanical, industrial engineering, other things, all of whom may one day work here at Intel or in some other great Ohio high-tech job. Technology plays a critical role in building a digital future, a future that is equitable, prosperous, accessible, and inclusive for all. You know, and this is why we are so excited about the things that we are going to do together here in Ohio. And that's what you'll see in this field of dreams. PhD engineers and scientists alongside community college graduates, skilled craftsmen, men and women, People of all ages, races, and backgrounds with advanced degrees or no degrees, working side by side, doing the most sophisticated manufacturing that's ever been done.